God bless you family, Pastor Daniel Ortega here. And before we get into this video, I want to ask you to like and subscribe to this page. We have more content coming your way. But what we're going to be talking about in this video is debunking the doctrine of once saved, always saved. It's a Calvinistic theology. And when you really look and dive into their doctrine, even those who believe or claim they believe in this doctrine, I, I believe what I'm going to tell you in this video is going to allow you to second guess what you really believe. Because the scripture speak contrary to their beliefs. But once again, like and subscribe to this video. Let's get straight into it. If you study church history, there's a man that arises by the name of John Calvin. And he's the man who created this doctrine of once saved, always saved. Or in other name, the Calvinist doctrine. What they believe is that by this word predestination, that is in the New Testament over 30 times, that God has chosen a select people to be saved from the foundations of the earth from the surface this sounds okay or it sounds like it may be correct but when you begin to research their doctrine a little bit more in depth you can tell that it actually pr disproves the loving god it actually has much holes in their doctrine according to scripture but before we get into the scripture i want to reference what is actually Calvinist doctrine and Arminius doctrine. There was a man by the name of Jacob Arminius, and he was a top theologian that studied underneath the Calvinistic umbrella. And he was called upon to debate another man by the name of Dirk Kuhnher. And Dirk Kuhnher in church history, he began to refute what the Calvinistic theology and doctrine was teaching about this predestination. So Jacob Armenia studied both sides of the coin and both and both arguments. And he began to agree with the other side and say, you know what, there is holes in this doctrine. If you read all the New Testament and Jacob Arminius was known for actually memorizing the, the whole New Testament in the Greek language. So this was a well-studied and well-scholared man of God. And he began to take a new theology and a new doctrine that we now know as the Armenian doctrine. So Jacob Armenius and John Calvin, let's look at the two points of view and let me see what you think about it let's look at this term that i want to look at is the term of unconditional election calvinists believe that there is nothing one can do to to determine one's election it is not based on anything god foresees in an individual in essence that god's election is already set in stone but the armenius thought and the armenius doctrine says that God foreknows who is going to accept him and who is going to reject him. That God is omniscient, meaning that he knows everything and that he knows who will accept his grace and who will accept his love for all are able to be the elect. But God already knows who will accept and who will reject. Once again, the Calvinists do not accept this Point of view, but they say that there is already set in stone individuals who God elected from the foundations of earth. There's nothing that we could do. We can't accept it. If we weren't elected, then we aren't chosen people. Number two, limited atonement. Calvinists believe Christ died, did, that Christ did not die for the whole entire world, but only for the elect. That's limited atonement. If you don't think that this is real, then just search it. Search up limited atonement and the Calvinist belief. Yes, this is a true doctrine. They believe that Jesus Christ did not die for the whole world, but only for the elect. Once again, the contrary, the other side of the coin is the Arminius. They believe Christ died for the whole world. And again, it comes down to a choice. Just by these two so far, unconditional election, limited atonement. 
Which one do you see as the heart of God? Let's look at one more. Another theological term is the perseverance of the saints. Once saved, always saved is where we get this term. Since there is nothing the individual could do to assist in their salvation, then there is nothing that a person could do to forsake their salvation or forsake their faith. This is what, once again where we get the term once saved, always saved. Since we can't assist in our salvation, then we cannot forsake our salvation. The other side of the coin, Arminius believed that once we receive grace, we are able to walk away from the faith. If you knew anybody in church life or even practical life, is there anybody that you know who who have walked away from the faith? If we look in the scripture, is there anyone who has walked away from the faith? If the Bible says to choose this day whom you will serve, either God or the devil, is that a choice that we make? Or is it once saved, always saved? Once again, like I mentioned, there's these terms that I wanted to go over. Number one, unconditional election. Number two, limited atonement. Number three, perseverance of the saints. So what do you think? I want to share a couple of scriptures before I end this broadcast and tell you I believe the Arminius theology. Um, why? Because Matthew eleven twenty eight 28 says, All who are heavy laden and who are burdened, come to me, Jesus Christ is saying, and I will give you rest. He said, All who are, who are heavy laden, those who are in depression, those who are in anxiety, those who life has just beat up, come to the cross and Jesus will give you rest. It doesn't only say those who are elect, but he gives an open invitation for all those who are ready to surrender to God. Number two, John three sixteen, the most famous scripture in all of the New Testament, for God so loved the world. Let me say it again. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Right? Or does it say, for God so loved the elect? No, it says, for who, whomsoever believes shall have eternal life. Whoever believes will have eternal life. Not only the elect, Yes, that word, the elect, yes, that word predestination is in scripture. But if our God is all-knowing, he understands who will accept him, who will receive the grace, who will receive the mercy, and who will say, that's not for me, and who will walk away from the grace of God. Number three, Romans 5, 1 through 2, by faith we are justified and have peace with God. You can say, oh, okay, well, that's the Cal Calvinist scripture on their side no it's not faith is an action word it's a verb you see it in the hall of faith when you hear about abraham when you hear hear about other legends of the scripture it said that abraham by faith was willing to sacrifice his only son isaac his promised son it was an action word to have faith and once again that's what the Armenians believe is that it's up to us to choose. We are able to walk away from grace. We are able to walk away from faith. But God loves us so much that he wants the whole world to repent. The scriptures in Ab when Abraham was pleading on behalf of the city saying, God, if there's 50, God, if there's 40, God, if there's 30 people, will you save, will you not burn down the city? He was pleading for the souls. There was many people that he didn't want to perish. And God was willing to not destroy for the sake of these individuals. God loves the whole entire world. And he wants everyone to have the peace, to have eternal life. But once again, he doesn't want robots. But he wants us to choose life, to choose his love and to accept it. He's an open-handed father waiting for his children to come to him. And I hope you like this video. If you don't know God, God loves you. No matter your past, no matter what you've done, no matter what anybody says, God forgives you. And he wants you to be his son or daughter. And he loves you unconditionally. Just accept the grace of God. And then he will begin to work on us. And he will begin to train us. He will begin to take away all the ugliness that the world sometimes puts inside of us to hurt, the pain, the 
craziness of this world. God is the healer, the miracle worker. Like and subscribe to the channel. God bless you guys.